Hey guys, it is me, Phoenix. Sorry, I had to adjust my microphone. My grandbaby was, um, look at all these cards that fell out. Let's just talk about it because they came out for a reason. There you have it. Bottom of the deck, it's walk away. You need to walk away from something that no longer serves you and start living for who you are and actually taking time for what makes you happy. I'll read this to you because it's the niche. Um, these cards came out in my last read. So if you guys want to check it out, just go and click the link above or click the link below. It came out walk away niche and you basically recreate your life. But anyway, um, it says with your unique experience and fresh perspectives, you would do very well specializing in a niche. So finding the things that complete you and not deplete you, finding the things that make you happy and going from there, right? Hold on. I'm moving my cards that are over here. So, you guys, I know you can't hear me that great. Do me a favor. Please like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Remember, red hearts, you made it through. Purple hearts, it resonates. Green hearts, you're working on it. Yellow hearts, you rock with me. Got my six. I'm going to have my back. Because I have yours. So let's see what cards came out. The cards that um, healer, advocate, counselor, training, and research. Oh, this is going to be interesting. So the healer card says you are able to provide great comfort and support to those who are on a healing journey. Whether the pain is physical, emotional, or spiritual, we know that that's the case as cancers. And we are able to do that. However, we have to learn how to heal and let go heal release heal and release and let go at the same time so not really taking on people's burdens and so sometimes we have to walk away and i'll read it to you walk away says you're doing what you're doing now isn't working for you but are you willing to walk away to make room for something better now this is you walking away from you always trying to listen when you have <laughs> listen let me tell you, this is speaking volume to me because I have uh, kids, I have boys that are over uh, the age of 18. And when I tell you, I'm always going to be their advocate. I'm always trying to heal, to counsel, to train, and to do my research on how I can help them better as a, a mother. Um, and only uh, time will tell what you taught them and things like that. So sometimes it's just hard but you have to pull away I'm learning that and it hurts more than anything in the world so I guess that's something that somebody needed to hear I'm not afraid to speak it and to say it but kids have to learn on their own this is these are different kids from what the way we grew up I'm of a particular age and you know um, I was born in the 1900s I'll say that and uh, when it comes to having kids that are um, this new generation <laughs> It is hard because they have everything handed to them and we had we didn't we had to figure it out and fend for ourselves and so to hear advice from other people is hard so there you have it you guys that is if you guys want to know what I'm going through that is what I go through on a daily basis and you know as a matter of prayer and the sin and strength and healing is the best thing that I can do but at the same time we advocate for the people that we love and we are the uh, queen uh, of Pentacles energy the mother of the zodiac which always wants to nurture to to help and to figure out ways for other people so maybe that was something that somebody needed to hear or maybe this is my read I'm going to keep going and see what it is but advocate it says you will find so much fulfillment in working for a charitable cause <laughs> okay so the charitable charitable cause if you ask me are um people who really need your help and will appreciate it okay counselors here your compassionate nature makes you a good listener your advice is sought after and excuse me your advice is sought after and your opinion is value is is value is a valuable commodity to the people who need to hear it and appreciate it right training is here you still have some skills to acquire before you can really advance to a next stage of your career <laughs> walking away and learning when to walk away i think that's what we all need to learn because this could be kids this could be a situation ship it could be family it could be friends it could be a work situation it could be anything but this is the manifest uh money uh or finance manifest your I think it's manifest money or manifest your finance card deck. But here it is. We are constantly doing research to help others heal. And we also, we, what we do is we take that energy and we just fall apart. Because again, 
we're trying to help every situation and everyone. So again, before you make the next move, it's important to do some exploratory, ex, exploratory, exploratory research so you know all the possible paths you can take. So again, possible paths and take in regards to how you heal, who you choose to heal, who you choose to help, who you have to walk away from, who you have to know that they have to learn things on their own. And that's the hardest part when it comes to being a parent or being in a relationship, situationship or whatever, because we are the mother of the zodiacs and we are the people who need to, again, heart path, yeah, in a deeper world, who need to figure out what it is and what our heart path is. And it's a deeper world out there. Everything is here. So it says, embrace the spiritual belief that everything already exists in here and now, in the here and now. Live in the present moment and be grateful for what you have. And you have to walk away and understand that you did everything you could and you have to be grateful for the things, but you also have to still shine bright. So finding your niche and finding what makes you happy um, and what you can specialize in is like, okay, well, I've tried this thing called... Um, a relationship I tried this thing called you know just a loyal loyal person loyal individual and I know that right now it's not helping it's more so hurting me um, shining bright is here it says I never it's never a mistake to give give of your never a mistake to give of yourself some will take it for granted others may take advantage of it it says do not allow bad energies to overpower your light message you know, that's what my, if you guys hear it, it, I let my phone play because I have it say message. It's telling you that it's a message. So if it happens, it happens. But the heart path is here. It says it's not worth pursuing a path without passion. This road will only lead you to uncertainty and frustration. Follow your heart and you can't go wrong. So something about this energy to me is that you are, you know, you're not living in the present moment. You're so worried about the fear of the past and also what the future holds. And this could be, I mean, this is for me when it comes to my kids, but you know, so you always try to advocate, give them, you know, the best that you can send them out the best way. But it's so scary in that world when it comes to you letting them know everything is here where you need to be with any, not just with your kids, but with any relationship situation, like I have your best interest, a deeper world. Don't push or force your way through life. Finding balance, even in the dark times will open your heart uh, to a deep and compassion, uh, de depth, excuse me, to a depth of compassion in every moment. And so your heart path, finding your path and not really just trying to force things on, um, you know, um, force, force yourself and force situations on people, you know, living your fears through what, you know, could have, would have, should have happened, but it might not have, but didn't, you know, in the game of life, it says, Oh, but what if I fail? But oh, darling, what if you fly? But not only that, when it comes to relationships, situationships, or, you know, being a parent or whatever it is, you can't force your knowledge on people or you can only, they're only going to come to you. And this is some, not all. They're only going to come to you when they feel like, you know, uh, either they're, you're slipping away or they need to hear it, but they're going to not take your advice. They're going to take the same advice that comes from someone else that they just been running situations by, but it's not someone that's in their inner circle, but you just have to take it with a grain of salt and say, you know what, that's where you have to find certain situations and understand who you can advocate for and counsel and also who will appreciate your knowledge, but confusion. Yeah. Cause it, this makes you confused when you can't. And, and this is in any situation where you're, you, when you know that you have everybody's best interest, you can tell people how to do things. You can show people, you can do everything, but here's the thing. You can lead a horse to water, but you cannot make them drink. And it says all seekers of truth will experience confusion as the ask the universe to provide the answers you need. Ask the universe you know, you can't really rely on somebody else and what they feel. And the moment is here. It says, think of a special moment that brought you and your partner a lot of joy or you in a situation. So all you can do is just let it go, let it flow and understand that if this is in a relationship or this is a relationship, twin flame, it says twin flames themselves contain an aspect of each other's personality. So that if this is something that you're confused about, um, you just have to realize that you have everything that someone needs. But it might not be that person that you feel if that's in a relationship. It might not be that per it, it might not be enough for that person. You know, people are always seeking 
um, more out of life. And you might not, you might think and know that you have the knowledge and the whatever to be able to manifest everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So unknown caller came out of my last read and guilt was at the bottom of the deck. Apology, remorseful and shameful. So here's the thing. Like I said, you have, you have to pull and move people out of their, out of your life. And the only way they'll appreciate it is when they see um, and feel the difference of you removing yourself. And so then the unknown numbers start calling and stalking, hanging up, things like that. But not even that, not knowing them, not knowing what you're doing again and feeling uh, some type of energy. Yeah, it says no contact because you've had to remove yourself, block, silent treatment, cut all off, uh, cut off all in communication. Yeah, uh, cut off all communication um, and then spiritual attack. Karma, divine intervention, facing their demons. They have to face what it is that you were trying to advocate and heal them or trying to help them with. And down there, they're apologetic and um, feeling shame and remorseful because, you know, you try to make everything, you know, easier for them. But when it gets to a point to where you just say, you know what? Hey, I can't do this anymore. I, you know, I love you. Uh, like my friend says do you <laughs> and my other friend said you'll figure it out that is what is going to have to happen in order for them to figure out what it's like with you not being their advocate you know uh hourglass here yeah, time will only tell in the universe it's going to be a lot of confusion it came out twice two different card readers it's going to be a lot of confusion because you're going to distance yourself and you're going to be alienated from these people but uh lost discarded and reduced they're going to feel lost and they're going to realize that oh i didn't even look at this time is of their essence and it says forget for forgetfulness scars and in accumulation they're going to understand that what what time was like with with you and without you now that you know they feel like everything is going wrong so if you're advocating for somebody who doesn't have your best interest you're going to be the one growing or you have to wait for them to grow either way. But when they do grow, you know, growth, fertility and life land, you know, uh, you, they're going to feel guilty because, again, you found out what made you happy and you had to move forward. And now they're ashamed that they even had to let you go or that they didn't listen to you at some point, if that makes sense. And so this could be any type of situation. But again, time will only tell what the future holds for you but if you're in the present moment instead of you worrying about you know forcing situations or trying to get somebody to see that you have their best interest then you know the thing is is that yeah yeah yep love story once upon a time once upon a time when i ran into cancer um you know i did cancer wrong it was manipulation it was lies it was control it was all these different things that i took cancer for granted this is in a relationship you know this is not with I'm talk I was talking about my kids in the beginning but this is not a, you know get and play this could be playing games and um you know already knowing what you already know what the outcome could be when it comes to you know should have would have could have or trying to lead the horse to water so they wouldn't have to experience anything but you know private relationships this could be with friendships this could be anything when it comes to them having to learn on their own you know this is them learning privately oh, i didn't even see i had this on my head um uh, them learning privately or in their own time and really realizing that you know what uh they've been playing games and it's been a force a sign of some type of manipulation or some type of situation to where you know they know that you have their best interest but at the same time they manipulate you and try to control you know, and make you like the puppet when, again, once upon a time, I remember when cancer had my back, unsure energy comes out with the golden mirror. So narcissistic, love bombing, self-absorbed and one-sided energy. So this is when you were dealing with this type of energy. But right now, the unsure energy of, I'm going to pull a couple of more, the golden mirror is that you're not sure what to t take, what to call this, you know, energy or what or how to deal with the scars of this yeah, because you feel like this pe these people are playing games. Again, hiding true feelings, pretending and deluding, gaslighting and personifying. So the getting played is playing games to me and passion. Yeah, insane chemistry, sparks and having fun, equal interest, burning desires. You, you are 
trying to get them to see what their passions are, but heart fail, healing, heartbreak, toxicity, and addictions, abusive relationships. So it's private relationships and it's abusive relationships, but all it is is you either looking at the codependent energies that can happen to them, you know, trying to look and, 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 um, tell the future for them. I guess that's how I'm trying to say it. And what you see, what they're hiding and what they're going through and why, you know, you just feel like the need to want to try to help until you can't help anymore until the universe says step back, let them keep playing these games and, you know, understand it, but they're going to be confused. You you're confused now, but they're going to be confused as soon as you say, Oh, I can't not, I cannot come to your rescue anymore, or I cannot help you in a situation of growth. So again, this could be any kind of situation. It could be a kid. It could be, it could be a, a friendship. It could be family members. It could be a job. It could be anything where you've been trying to get people to reach their passions or to see what it is. Yeah, here it is. We have the, um, excuse me, the six of wands energy. You know, the thing is, is that when it comes to dealing with people, places, and situation, you have to be victorious in a situation. You have to know that you've tried everything and now here it is. You have to put that energy within yourself to be victorious, to be successful, and to have the, you know, recognition that you want them to have. And it's not even about that, but it takes a lot of soul searching to get to that point to where you have to just say, you know what, I... I feel like I'm being spiritually attacked, page of wands energy and live in the present moment. So now the present moment is telling me to, again, don't push through or force your way through life. Find a balance even in dark times with, uh, excuse me, finding balance even in dark times will open your heart in a depth of compassion in everyday moments. And the heart path, it says not, it's not worth pursuing a path without passion. This road will lead, will only lead you to un uncertainty and frustration follow your heart and you can go and you can't go wrong and so the thing is it's like you have to be able to embrace everything in the present moment everything is here it says embrace the spiritual belief that everything already exists and in, in the here and now yesterday is hi here and now sorry yesterday is history tomorrow's a mystery the only thing that's real is the present moment live in the present moment and be grateful for what you have and that is everything is here where you need it to be when you need it to be here. And the unknown is, is even though you don't know if somebody's stalking, hanging up or you unknown of what time or when the time will come, you have to know that it's going to come and everything is what you need it to be right here and there. Queen of Pentacles, I told you already, your passions of being the mother of the Zodiac and also being empathetic, having uh you know, compassion and being calm and being able to comfort everyone in their situations lead you really to nowhere because you already have the accolades that you need to say, oh, I'm the mother of the Zodiac or I can manifest the things that I want. But again, manifesting them for people who don't really um, uh, appreciate your gift or appreciate, you know, um, your presence. And keeps playing games and you when you say okay I'm going no contact this is a part of hermit mode but see our hermit hermit mode looks like before we get to that point is Queen of Pentacles excuse me the Queen of Swords energy meaning uh, stand up for yourself no 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 wait what is the Queen of Pentacles I have to remember it um, yeah stand up for yourself always speak your mind don't take shit from anyone that's what I learned when I learned the Queen of Pentacles and I learned the sayings of those those major cards. And the Queen of the Queen of Pentacles says a loving family is one of the greatest blessings in life. Protect and care for them no matter what. That is a no matter what that keeps you going, keeps you dealing with people who are always hiding their true feelings or always um, you know, taking your kindness for a weakness. And even though you're able to manifest things, you show them something and they turn around and feel like they know everything, but they don't give you um, they, they don't give you that. They say, oh, you know what such and such told me? And this is like, but I've been telling you this for the last four years. You know what I mean? Like, and that is where your present moment and you sitting back and really going into hermit mode and the hermit mode, excuse me, energy is, you know, you basically, um, you know, meditating on it or pulling your energy back, but it's also you pulling your energy back to soul search, you pulling your energy back to understand where you are at this present moment. And it's a hard thing to deal with when it's, when it's dealing with somebody you love, you know, you have to look at it and see 
that it's time for you to pull your energy back, be alone and have inner guidance and to trust. And that's where the universe is saying you're confused. You had to distance yourself. You had to alienate yourself. And time will tell, even though you feel lost, discarded and reduced to having to do this to somebody uh, that you love, you know, no matter the situation, because these people are playing games. And, you know, one day they'll be able to tell the story about how cancer was the person who wasn't narcissistic, crazy, and, you know, never really hit their true feelings, but never pretended was always real and loyal, you know, and that'll be the story that they tell the one that got away, right? And maybe that's what we should put on there. The one that got away, the person who was able to heal my soul and to, yeah, um, King of Cups energy, but it's in the reverse, right? The King of Cups in the reverse is cold moodiness and emotional manipulation who could ma manipulate me uh, into trying to make me feel bad about certain situations being the King of Cups in the reverse, but decided to walk away and not really speak to me ever again and Ace of Cups energy, but they were able to manifest everything and actually really see what it is that, um, you know, they could create and what their desires and their, what they were inspired to do and what they were trying to inspire me to do. But that's the mother of the Zodiac. Again, bottom of the deck is the Queen of Cups energy. And so you have to be able to understand that, yeah, it's going to be feel like conflict or that you have to be defensive in order to get through this. But the world car, right, is moving on. The universe is telling you to move on with the world card being here. And it also is just letting you know that, you know, it's time. This is the accomplishments you did. You you accomplished whatever it is that you needed to as much as you could. And now it's time for you to go on a journey going into hermit mode, but nine of cups so that you can be happy, so that you can um, be satisfied and have emotional stability and, and to have the luxuries that you've tried to show and give to other people. Not not like your sugar mama or sugar daddy, but it's that your empathetic nature as being the queen of cups, your compassion, your calming energy and your comfort is going to go towards people uh, who are who can see that you're just trying to shine bright for them to be their light, if that makes sense. And so that is kind of how I see that. So this could be any situation you know, loving uh, a cancer and a cancer loving you is the beautifulest thing, most beautiful thing that you can have uh, in life. But here's the thing. It's a point of time where cancer has to look at things for what they are and really realize, is this causing me to grow? Am I, is this compatible with my, my life? So I'm going to pull from, let me see what this is. The love. Oh, I don't know what this is. Hold on. Uh, it's a love deck. I don't know what it's called, but I'll pull from here if this is in regards to twin flame type energy. But this could be twin flame energy. This could be, you know, um, from a message for for somebody who you decided to, you know, who's in your life. Uh, faded meeting, important connection. This could be an important connection for you and divine connection. Twin flame energy comes out twice. So this could be a twin flame energy for you. This could be somebody that you, you love and have a divine connect, connection with and this have a bonding type energy. But again, if they take your kindness for a weakness, you know, they'll come back around eventually and realize that cancer, you're the one that got away. So, you know, hold on. I'm pulling from the hidden, hidden heart secrets. Oh, what, did I say that right? The heart hidden secrets. <laughs> I'm pulling from this deck to see what it is. But Again, you are the one who has to make a decision. The yeah, decision, bottom of the deck, divine masculine, yang energy, and it's masculine energy. So this could be a masculine, or this could be somebody with heavy masculine energy. But whoever it is, you have no words for them. You're frozen, and you're 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 stonewall. Your your guards are up, and so this is the person, place, thing, or situation that you had an intimacy type energy with, and that you bonded with. But they, again, didn't get, go ahead. They, again, didn't get um, who you are in this certain time. Hold on one second, you guys. Okay, so my grandbaby's about to come back in here. But um, basically what I was saying is I'm going to pull from the Twin Flame Karmic Partner and Soulmate uh, deck. But I'm going to pull these first. Uh, but the thing is, the faded meeting, uh, the important relationships, this is important. Whatever, whether it be a Twin Flame you know, uh, whatever the situation may be, it's important and it's an important connection for you and for you to have to walk away. That hurts more than anything else. And so 
Well, yeah, Dark Night of the Soul. And this is, I'm going to read it to you. That's uh, Twin Flame Energy. And then it says Cycles. And this is um, Soulmate type energy. Your situation is gaining momentum. Get ready for a big change. Be sure to stand, stay grounded at, as this change can throw you off center. And that's where this energy is going to do. It's going to throw you off because, again, yeah, there is going to be some type of breakup or separation. It says this time there's no going back. You're reclaiming your self-worth and beginning the healing process. So bye. You know, you're saying bye. You're saying bye to this energy, even though it's something. Hold on. I have to I have to fix this, this side of my desk over here. Even though it's something that you don't want to do, you have to do it. But here it is. Um, I'll look at these cards, too, and I didn't read The Dark Knight. Yeah, they're going to call your bluff and keep pretending and wearing this mag mask and try to exaggerate mask comes out twice but there's dishonesty there's deception and there's a lot of trickery a lot of game playing in this situation and that's the reason why they're going to have to go through a dark night of soul and they're going to feel like the no contact is a spiritual excuse me is a spiritual attack and it says karma divine intervention and facing their demons they're going to have to face their demons when you remove your energy. And that's a part of having a dark night of the soul. It says your twin flame could be experiencing a dark night of the soul, a period of spiritual di desolation, disconnection, and emptiness inside. So they're going to feel that way. And meanwhile, you are um, having an evolution of the soul, you know. So you already went through the dark night of figuring out everything. That was the hermit mode energy that you had to go through. And here it is. They're having, if, I hope you can, if you can hear my son in the background, he's talking to uh, his baby um they left my door open she left my door open but yeah you have to learn what it is that you need and ancestors you're asking the universe again the universe is here ancestors clearing ancestral agreements pain trauma limiting beliefs imprints healing ancestral line in the future so say that uh, native american they have a lot of karmic energy that they are people are dealing with and i say that um because there's a lot of limiting beliefs and healing uh the ancestral line that the native americans had to do i'm native american but you know i learn i'm learning thing, things every day when it comes to spirituality and things like that and you know not just my heritage but everyone's heritage everyone is learning from the past energies but it's a new territory meant to try new things in life a walk in unfamiliar territory enabling success through learning so you're learning everybody is learning how to get through the past the fear of the past and it's a path of intimacy learning how to be loved it's shortcuts it's mature souls yeah it's source of light earth souls and it's a path to intimacy this is how you learn the steps of re of unlearning to relearn the hierophant energy changing your belief systems right hierophant energy is also to obey in the universe not to obey what your parents taught you and their ancestral lineage but to figure out what it is from the past in order to learn about where you are and how you see yourself right now and that is a part of the scars of the past so hold on one second let me close my door so you guys can't hear them laughing and talking hold on okay so yeah when it comes to the things when it comes to the path of intimacy I can look at this and tell you that there's no shortcuts in the process of this. You have to unlearn to relearn, which means sometimes going back and really realizing the sitting and being your own advocate when it comes to. I record. I'm recording. Hold on one second, you guys. I don't have kids. Okay. So as you hear, that was my oldest son. There you have it. So anyway, the shortcuts and the path to intimacy it plays out like this because you have to know and be, you know, and understand the basics. And I'm, I'm going to read the cards for you, but the ancestral trauma and things like that and clearing just different types of unlearning, you know, and it, and I looked here and it says time and it says forgetfulness and then scars and accumulation. Things of the past can accumulate and you will have those scars when it comes to why you push so hard for everyone and why you it's so it's hard at first but then the, no contact becomes easy and so when you get to those points of having these different things the shortcuts that you take to have no contact either you have to be really mad there has to be somebody make taking your kindness for a weakness there has to be a point to where you already know the truth right you already know the truth which is right here and, or the yeah the t the truth you already know the truth but at the same time you are passionate about 
the love that you have for somebody and, you know, having their equal opportunity or them achieving their goals that you want. And it's a burning desire to help them complete whatever it is that you see that they're missing, but uh, that they, that they're missing. Um, I think I'm saying that right, but it's a divine connection, but it's like the, the masculine energy that you have to like push. I got to go is on by Trey songs, but I got to go right now. I'll be back before you know it. You know that right there, you know, it's like, it takes a lot for you to get to that point, but in the process of going through that, you realize how easy it is to separate yourself, but then you start to realize that this becomes a cycle, and then you have to understand why you need to clear the past energies and, why, and change your belief systems. Again, it says pain, trauma, limiting belief systems of, of understanding why you feel the need to have to constantly go back and forth, round and round again with this type of energy. This is this could be any type of situation or any type of relationship. And so when it comes to shortcuts, it says must go deeply into the process. Can't speed up your evolution. Resist trying to skip levels. And then you understand that part, right? Because time is like you want everything to rush and to be what it wants, what it needs to be. You want this person to really understand what you're trying to do, how you're trying to do it. But this person isn't ready. They haven't went through the dark night that you went through or that you're going through. And so the mature soul is here embracing otherness, lessons, empathy, self-awareness. And then the traits of, of a mature soul is introspection, inquisitive, and sensitive. So you become the queen of cups energy, but at the same time, not just being the queen of pentacles, the mother of the zodiac, you, you, you discover this passion, this calming sense of comfort that you give to other people, but you have to give that to yourself as well. And then the source of light, you become the source of light for everyone, but you have to be the source of light for you and go down those dark tunnels that you don't really want to go to instead of, instead of moving so fast and trying to just get somebody to understand. But the fast, when I say moving fast, this could be years that you've been going back and forth with this situation. And it says the source of light, a source of light and positive and positivity to others. You're positive and you're a source of light, but you need to be that to people who really appreciate you and who have a heart path, who maybe have, have been at some point on the journey that you've been on before, but it's a deeper meaning when it comes to you uh, trying to force something on somebody. Again, leading a horse to water, but not, you know, them not wanting to drink. They have to go through that dark night in order to really realize what you brought to the table and why you're really in no contact with them because the mask, again, um, and the gaslighting and the, you know, the things that they were doing, taking your kindness for weakness, it says getting played, but I think it's more so playing games or not just really taking you serious, you know? So again, it says your inner strength inspires others. So you're going to go and help the people that you can inspire. Uh, Donnell Jones is Superman is on or whatever, but, um, uh, and that's I'll be a super um, for too long. I can't remember it. Uh, um, anyway, the earth soul happens. And then it says stick to what is socially accepted. Then you start to stay in the situation for too long because you don't want to feel like respectfully a fool because you don't want to hear, oh, she been, he or she been in this relationship full of manipulation, controls, lies, deception, trickery. Uh, pretending wearing somebody wearing a mask and somebody playing games uh, all this time and you know um, basically with the king of cups in the reverse you know it's like you're emotionally you've been emotionally manipulated again you know but you don't want anybody to really see what it is and it says to desire to belong to a community this could be a community, this could be a person, this could be a situationship, this could be a job, this could be any type of situation that you stay too long. So the scars are there, but you're hiding them well, you know, and spiritually evolve here on earth because you know that one day this will pay off. You know, you just don't know when. And so the path to intimacy is this learning about your sexual behaviors, discovering your true sexual nature, and sexuality plays an important role. We, I'm going to speak for um, a collective group, I don't know, this is not just about sex to us, it's, it's about a, a transfer of energy, 
which yeah happens with sex but it's more so of you look at it they look at it as sex you look at it as as a togetherness or something of the sort i don't know how why am i saying why i'm saying that but you have to figure out how to be loved and not to just have sex um because you're being you're loving a person they're having sex so all the games that they're playing you're getting an exchange of their energy and feeling what it is that they need in order to um motivate them for something better in their lives and they're just playing games with your energy and coming back when they need to be fulfilled uh and it's to them sexually but it actually really is mentally physically spiritually and emotionally without them saying what they need if that makes sense they're coming to you for that energy that boost of energy you already know that because nobody can give them what you can i mean you know what i mean that that whole mental emotional spiritual thing you know and so they keep coming back every time i try to leave come you know something keeps pulling me back me back telling me i need you in my life and that is you guys know i can't sing but that is what that energy is until you go on no contact and they feel like there's some type of spiritual attack which forces them to have a dark night of the soul now is this going to be for you or is it going to be for them and that's what you have to ask yourself is it a breakup and i'm going to go and i'm going to take these cards down and i'm gonna, I'm gonna show you what the bottom of the decks are the, underneath the bottom of the deck so we can kind of see what it is so again now everything that was so out in the open it's private to them because they can't understand what feelings they're going through and why they feel the way that they do if that makes sense and so the spiritual attack is a part of their dark night of the soul which you wanted the best for them but because they played so many games then they have to deal with all of the extra that comes behind that and that's not what you're wishing on anybody but this is the journey of having the dark night of the soul figuring out where their source of light comes from and what the earth soul where it says sticks to what is socially accepted them always worrying about communities that uh give that that uh feed into their bullshit if that makes sense um you know the ones that the yes men's like that until they really realize that sex ain't better than love. Who says that, Trey Songs? Well, even though, you know, he has his past. But again, sex ain't better than love. You know, so when you're having intimate relations with them, you're loving them. They're having sex with you. And it's a difference until you pull your energy back. So I'm going to go ahead and pull these cards up so you can see what's underneath the bottom of the deck. Because, again, this is the shortcuts and the path to intimacy when it comes to what it is that you... And how you're dealing with this person if that makes sense and so it's it's easier said than done but this is the victory that they're gonna have to this is what they're gonna have to experience in order for them to be able to get through whatever they've been through or whatever they're going through if that makes sense and so again this is fate a fated meeting this is an important connection that's gonna they're gonna realize that's in their life because again you've been that advocate that healer and you've done your research in regards to not taking any shortcuts when it comes to loving them. And so if that makes sense. So let me go ahead and pull these up. So I have I have the Queen of Cups. I have the Nine of Cups here. And I think it goes this way. I always want to put it back the way I had it. The Nine of Cups. I have the uh, Healing Heart which is about abusive relationship, toxicity, addictions, and healing your heartbreak, or healing from your heartbreak. Sorry, I have land, growth. I have guilt. Um, I think it's this card deck. This card deck. This one. And then niche. So really understanding how you can shine bright in a situation where you know you're living and I, and when it says private relationship because this person never really wanted to commit to you because of all the yes men in their life if that makes sense and so that's what i see but also with the additional cards i'll sit it here we have new territory because you're learning new things right about here uh, I want to kind of put this over here you're learning new things about 
growth. Sorry, that fell. About growth and how to keep your emotions. This could be private relationships or how to keep things private, but it could be about how to live in the 5D in the relationship and not give this additional moment. It says, think of a special moment that brought you and your partner together. And to be able to still have faith in a situation, but to say goodbye and know the reasons why. And that comes with silence. Having silence for situations that you don't understand. And that also happens when it comes to what a bond is. And so the moment and the private relationships come with what the bond really is to you or what a bond really is to you. And so that was how you did your research and you healed and you're only advocating for people who appreciate you and don't take your kindness for weakness. And so whatever happens from here, Queen of Cups, your emotional energy, you are the one who has the ability to be able to manifest greatness in regards to this situation, if that makes sense. So let me pull one more card. Um, I'm going to pull one more card, uh, and this is an important connection to you because that's what's at the bottom of the deck, at the bottom of the, the, the end of the cards is the important connection, and it has to do with your ancestors and clearing those different cycles and the divine connection, if this is twin flame or not. It has to do with you understanding and learning what breakup does and what your silence, you know, it's like when I, when I talk, you, everybody should listen. Uh, everybody, when I talk, I forget how that saying is, but when I don't talk, then that means that you should really listen. When I stop talking is when you, sh I, you should really understand and start listening because I'm, I'm not going to keep saying things over and over again. So hold on, let me get another card deck. Um, hold on one second. I don't know. I'm going to look and see which one I want to get. All right. So um, I'm going to pull from the number deck to see what numbers come out. And then also I want to pull, I can't think of the name of this card deck, but Strip For You is on by R. Kelly. But um, yeah, let's see what number comes out. Here it is. We have 1111. Oh, well, no, 111. It says angels are ready to fully support you in this endeavor so that you can co-create with the universe and uh, universe a life you love. I am creative. And at the bottom of the deck is I'm innovative. It says you are a self-starter with very innovative ways of creating support, uh, op creating opportunity. It says your determination and endurance are powerful and will help you get through rough times and re and reach success so that is where you are and the in regards to pulling your energy back and card number 20 which would be here um it says and maybe these numbers are coming out to you um you relate to others on a cosmic level you are dedicated to building harmonious relationships of all kinds you have the ability to persuade others to to your point of view by using gentle means and so that is what they have to understand. And that's where your niche, you specialize in finding people who you can advocate for, who you've done the research or either you're doing research, but you can teach them how to uh, and teach them and become their counselor and advocate for them when they're unsure. Is that considered a, a therapist? Um, I don't know. You tell me. But let me also pull from here to see what comes out. And I can't think of the name of this deck. Um, and I'm going to pull to get some more information or more energy to see what comes out. But, yeah, you have to be the one to to advocate for yourself first, though, and your creativity and innovation uh, when it comes to you understanding the cycles in life and understanding when when to hold them and when to fold them, but also when to, yep, 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 a new vision. So, <clears throat> excuse me, the new vision is you basically – getting to a point to where you're you're at, you're at a situation to where um how do I want to put this mm, you're at you're at a point in your life to where this is card number 12 you're at a point in your life which is the hangman energy surrendering right but the new vision is you're surrendering to your new visions and this is also conditioning yourself in order to do that this is basically like the wolf in sheep clothing but it also just lets you know that uh, card number uh, 15 is you actually being aware of your appetites, the devil energy, the wolf and sheep clothing, clothing in your addictions, you know. So addictions meaning, you know, not being able to see your, your vision, not being able to really just do 
what it is and you're always in hangman energy behind your addictions or your codependent energies does that make sense and so when it comes to that situation you are the one that uh have it harder than the rest because you're innovative and creativity and the, you being able to be a fool respectfully right a fool is knowing that you know nothing but you already have the tea but you already know but you choose to look past what you um what what you've already seen in this person right and and just keep having faith that they'll get it one day and so the the full energy is like taking a leap for people instead of that you're learning to advocate for the people who really need your help if that makes sense and so your silence when it comes to somebody really just realizing who you are and what you bring to the table is where the new vision of the hangman you're looking at it totally different you know the stagnation of being in the hangman how you bond with people what you what what toxicities allow you to stay instead of your passion is to help people and to advocate for people not to get people to hurt you and to keep you stagnant so you got to constantly be able to you know have the ebb and flows of, of life and that is learning to walk away and that's again you being silent and saying goodbye to things that no longer you know complete you and that's how I see that hold on one second the doorbell rang so again your next situation that you you know you get into which is the intimacy and bonding and that was somewhere around here as well you will understand the difference between um, the the two of knowing when to walk away I always said what are you doing now isn't work what 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 you're doing now isn't working for you but you are willing to walk are you but are you willing to walk away um to make room for something better and that something better it could be a private relationship it could be somewhere where you're bonding you're intimate and you're not just uh going and indulging in the toxicities of the past and wifey is going by next that's why you're my wifey so however you husband wife whatever it is you got to know that their next person that comes into your life intimately and that is a divine connection and an important connection, which is faded, right? Because that's what that card is right there, is going to be somebody who's going to appreciate you, wifey, husband, whatever. They're going to appreciate you and the new vision will be there, but it won't be like hangman energy. It will be you surrendering to what you know love is by your experiences. So, here you go. Sorry, I know this is a long read. I'm going to pull from the crystal deck and then I'm going to pull from the four agreements. If you want to know my perspective on these, I'll put the links above. The bronze and night is here and don't take anything personal. All chakras. So you need to focus on all your chakras. And again, click the links up above. Self-control, certainty and action. That's exactly what we've been talking about. Self-control, certainty and action. You're going to take action. I send out loving, thoughtful energy, and I receive the same in return. Reciprocation, not one-sided energies. And that's what came out right here, which is sideways, right? The unsure of what will the future bring. And narcissistic energy, love bombing, self-absorbed energy, and one-sided energy. That's why it came out unsure, because you're not sure of if you do this to do that, is that going to be reciprocated? The things you do, is it going to be reciprocated moving forward, or should you just stay? in the toxic environments that you've been in. And that's been the ebb and flows, the cycles of your life. That's why the universe is telling you to walk away. But it says, don't take anything personal. Embrace, embrace, embrace your freedom. You gain a huge amount of freedom when you take nothing personally. No spells can affect you regardless on how strong it may be. And if you live without fear, if you love, you will be happy with your life. And so that is what you're going to do, right? And as scary as it is, you just have to know that the universe has your back because you're going after the things that you're passionate about. And that's the new beginning. That's you taking a leap and realizing that you are harmoni harmonious and you are creative and you are innovative. There you have it. So let's let this old energy go. I now let go of worn out conditions of lack, doubt, hate, negativity, procrastination, stagnation, sadness, generational curses debt bad energies heartbreak bad health and addictions remember addictions can be to a person place thing or a situation lovers and friends is on by ursher ursher and ludicrous i love you guys